Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. I'm Nigel Croft and it's Tuesday the 17th of October. In this short video we'll be looking at the charts on the dollar versus the Japanese yen. What we'll see is that we're towards the upper boundary of a downtrend channel. The four hour are rolling in a slightly bearish formation and on the weeklies and the dailies the moving averages need to hold let's look at those charts so here we are on the weekly so each bar represents one week's trade and you can see quite clearly that um, the Nick the US dollar is in a downtrend against the yen uh, we've got this pattern of lower highs and lower lows. Now, the upper boundary um, of the downtrend channel is uh, from the week of 10th of July. It's around about 114 and a half. So we need a break above there to break that trend. You can see at the moment we're getting support on the weekly from these moving averages. We're presently bang on the blue line, which is the 50 week moving average. And below there, the 20 week is now moving up. Extrapolating the picture down the road, you can see that if we hold up here, the 20 will cross the 50. That would be a bullish cross. That's going to be in about three to five weeks. If that does happen, that could be the uh, instigator for the break of the trend. But let's wait and see. Um, other factors on this weekly, looking at the RSI, there is still positive momentum. That's at 53.76. And the MACD also indicating that there is positive momentum with the short term above the longer term. On the daily, um, so here each uh, bar represents one day and you can see that we've got the 200 uh, day moving average. It's moving down, but it has given support the last couple of days. Now that's quite significant. If we go below that level, which is 111 spot 77, that because it's moving down could give a push down. Uh, the 20 and the 50 are still moving up. Um, so are still positive influences, but we are below the 20. Um, here you can see that momentum has been slightly lost, um, but the RSI is in a downtrend, but still above 50, presently at 53 spot 77. And the MACD highlighting that loss of momentum as the short term is below the longer term. So really the key is that 200 day moving average. We need to stay above that moving on to the four hour and here you can definitely see a rolling picture and we've moved um, down below the 50 uh, average on this four hour we have at the moment moved back above the 20 but it is still moving down if we move below that level 112 spot 08 that could give a push down as well um, here um, momentum is neutral rsi 50 spot one four it's going sideways doesn't know which way to go break up or break down uh, the macd are below zero with the short term marginally above the uh, longer term at the moment here to the upside the key is the the downtrend in 50 average that's at 112 spot 38 looking at the support resistance um, that 112.38 is the first resistance and then we've got the high of 6 of October 113 spot 44 with support at the 200 day 111 spot 77 a move below there would be bearish and then 111 spot 08 from the 20 week. So that's been uh, TA for traders looking at the US dollar versus the Japanese yen. Uh, the key takeaways are the, towards the upper boundary of a downtrend uh, a move above 114 and a half will confirm that break short term needs to hold its moving averages uh, four hour is becoming a concern as it rolls 
and that weekly moving averages are all important. Thanks for watching this video. Please remember these videos are my opinions and they're not an investment recommendation. Thank you. Thank you.